All right, ladies and gentlemen, who do you think it is? Who's going to the Olympia? Is it Aaron? Is it Ashley? Is it competitor number 332 or 343? There can only be one. Hey, it's Aaron. It's been a while since we posted anything and I wanted to give you guys an update as to what's been going on and what's to come. I've been competing quite a bit and traveling quite a bit and Evan got a new job so he's also been traveling quite a bit. So it's been tough finding that time to film exercise demonstrations, but they will be coming soon, I promise. For me, for competing, this is my second year as a bikini pro. I started off this season not so great. I did Girl Power in Orlando and the New York Pro in Tampa. I ended up placing 13th at my first show, I believe, and I think I was 12th at the New York Pro. I wasn't in the kind of condition that I needed to be in. Um, my suit selection wasn't all that great. My posing still wasn't all that great. So went back to work, um, still working with Kim Odo. We came up with a new look for my next show, which was the Republic of Texas in Austin. I got a new suit, did my hair a little bit better, worked on makeup and posing, and I ended up in first call outs there, which is, you know, that's usually the top placings. And from that first call outs, I kept getting moved closer and closer to the center, which is also a really great sign. And I ended up splitting center with Daraja Hill. She's a fantastic bikini pro, and it looked like after prejudging, we were first and second. Well, I ended up getting second place at that show. It still gives me goosebumps to think about jumping up that far in placing and what is really possible when you apply yourself and have that end goal in mind and really motivated me to continue pushing on and continue competing. So I went into the next show, which was Janet Leogue's Battle of the Bodies in Fort Lauderdale. And I felt like I was a bit too lean. As competitors, sometimes we tend to get in our own heads. And so we kind of tweaked the posing a little bit to make me look a little softer on stage. So I was a bit preoccupied with the posing and didn't think as much about the presentation. Um, I was still first call outs there, but I ended up on the end and I stayed on the end and got seventh place there. So, um, of course, <laughs> when you don't place as well as you expect, you don't feel as good about the show, but I totally understand um, based on my presentation and you know just my overall stage look, it wasn't as good as it was in Texas. So I knew I needed to work a little bit more for the next show, which is the one that I just did. It was the Tahoe Pro Show, and that was out in Nevada. And for the Tahoe Pro Show, I went into it a bit differently. I wanted to visualize the win. I wanted to just really relax going into it because all of the hard work had been done. My physique was ready. Everything had been perfected as far as, you know, the hair, the makeup, the suit, and um, going into pre-judging, I just, I felt really good about the show. So um, Ashley Kaltwasser ended up being there and she's a three-time Bikini Olympia champ. And just seeing her name on the list, it made me feel a bit apprehensive about going because I know whenever she enters a show, she usually wins. I mean, her track record proves it. She has 29 career victories in bikini. And here I am, you know, just off my rookie season, really wanting to do my best and fitting into the division and, you know, coming so far since switching over from figure. Um, I just knew that it was an, going to be an uphill battle <laughs> going into the Tahoe Pro Show. So we went to pre-judging and I just focused on being present on stage and taking my time and looking at the judges, looking at the audience and 
thinking about all of the things that I had practiced and just enjoying the process. And I did much better on my presentation this time. And as far as the call outs went, I was first call outs, moved to the center, ended up splitting center with Ashley. And we were called out again, just the two of us. And it was really a nail biter. It was really exciting to think that it ultimately was going to come between me and Ashley. So um, after prejudging, we went back. Um, Kim said that I needed to improve my tan, that I wasn't quite dark enough. Um, so went and put on a few more coats of tanner. My friend Casey Marshall was there and she was competing too. Um, she is awesome. She helped me a lot with the tan and came back to finals darker and I was able to eat a little bit more and fill out. So if you're familiar with competing, you can manipulate your water, your salt, your carbs the day before the show, the day of the show to look a little bit different on stage. So for example, if you want your muscles to look a little fuller, you usually will increase the carb intake just a little bit. And on top of that, you have to keep drinking water so you can digest those carbs. So um, it sounds complicated, but it's a lot of trial and error and it does help having a coach there. And my coach Kim is great for instructing on how to make these little adjustments. So um, had a little bit more carbs, tightened up a little bit for the night show. And it was so close at prejudging that they actually judged us again at the night show. So um, after prejudging, Ashley was in the lead by one point. And what I'd like to do is bring our top two to the center stage. So in no particular order, I would like competitors number 343, Aaron Stern, and competitors number 332, Ashley Coltwasser, to head to the center stage. If I could have you take center stage here, ladies, right into the mark on the line. Expediter Eric. That's perfect. Just go ahead and center both of them so nobody makes any assumptions prior and we raise the tension. <laughs> sure. Yeah, because it's not tense enough in here. I'm about to throw up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who do you think it is? Who's going to the Olympia? Is it Aaron? Is it Ashley? Is it competitor number 332 or 343? There can only be one. The second place award goes to competitor number 332, Ashley Coltwasser. Congratulations to our winner, number 343, Aaron Stern. Round of applause for Aaron, ladies and gentlemen. She's on her way to the Miss Olympia Bikini Pro Championship. That's the Super Bowl of Bikini Championships, which will be happening later this year. I ended up improving so much that at the night show, three of the judges reversed their decisions to have me in first place. So I ended up winning the Tahoe Pro Show and that qualified me for the Bikini Olympia, which is actually in October. So it's next month. It's in about five weeks. And I didn't know if you guys wanted to have a sneak peek into my prep for Bikini Olympia. And uh, I still, I get a little teary eyed I get a little... I get a little teary eyed thinking about it because it has been such a sweet journey. You know, um, I left the sport in 2013 and I, of course I'd competed in figure and all of these trophies that you see behind me are for figure. And at that time I was self-coached. I accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish in figure. And I actually, I made the mistake of going to a different federation and competing with a different federation. And what this did was it totally disqualified me, nullified my IFBB pro league status. So 
when I wanted to come back and I wanted to come back in bikini, I actually had to go back and qualify as an amateur. So in 2019, I went to Vietnam and did the Vietnam muscle contest and ended up winning the overall there. There was one pro card that was awarded for bikini and I won that. So the journey has been the journey has been long. It has been so worth it though. And um, I feel like when I did figure I was I was all alone doing it. I didn't have a support network, it was just me. And this time around, I have Evan, my fiance, I have friends, family who are supporting me. And of course I have Kim and who's my coach. And it, it it's a completely different journey than it was in figure. And if you would have told me three years ago that I would be back on stage and that I will have won a bikini pro show and qualified for Olympia again, I wouldn't have believed you. And so to have this second chance is, it's hard to fathom and it feels like a dream. So it has been my main focus for the last number of weeks. Because I was so close in Texas, I wanted to keep pushing in hopes of winning a show. Of course, when you go in, you you never really know what to expect. And again, it, it has just been a surreal journey. And I am over the moon excited for Olympia this year. And um, yeah, didn't know if you guys wanted to follow along, get a sneak peek at what I'm eating, how I'm training, all of that going into the show. And of course, we're trying to set it up to where we can get some footage at Olympia. Um, so if this is something that you guys would be interested in, please let me know. And um, we will get back to filming the exercise demonstrations and other videos too very shortly. But this this has been a big goal of mine since I got back into the sport and I'm so thankful to be a part of the IFBB Pro League and so thankful to everyone who believed in me and who helped me along the way and um, it's just just a really great industry a really great thing to be a part of and it, it's just it's such an honor and I'm so excited to step on that Olympia stage again, but this time in a completely different division. And of course I hope to do well. Um, I just wanna make you guys proud. I wanna make everybody proud um, who believes in me. <laughs> so uh, that's what's been going on. And if there's something specific that you guys would like to see, when we do the exercise video demonstrations. Um, again, if you wanna see the, the prep, everything that goes into it, we can do some more vlog style videos. Um, and the other thing too is that um, personality wise, I am very much an introvert. So talking about exercises, talking about training, talking about diet, all of that stuff is well within my wheelhouse and it's not so much bearing my soul, if you will. Talking about this type of stuff, it's it can be difficult for me because of my personality and, and how I, I like to keep things kind of close and I have a hard time talking about myself and my feelings. So um, thank you guys t for bearing with me and for listening and um, for being a part of this channel and being a part of the Fit Fam. So more to come if you've made it to this point. <laughs> thank you again for watching and uh, we'll have some more updates for you soon. I love you guys. Until next time, train hard.